With the annual event to honor America's service members, roads have since reopened tonight after thousands of runners hit the streets of Virginia and D.C. for the 39th annual Marine Corps Marathon. Caroline Tucker is live in Arlington with more from the big event. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Candice. You know, the Marine Corps Marathon is the third largest marathon in the country. And today, 30,000 participants descended here in Washington, D.C., and specifically here in Roslyn, though the roads are now reopened. For much of the day, though, they were closed. The metro was packed, and this race took on a course of its own. Around dawn, through the sky, Marines parachuted into action ushering in the start of the 39th annual Marine Corps Marathon. Some 30,000 people trained months for this day. Oh, I figured out if I was going to run one, this would be it. The Marine Corps Marathon is known as the People's Marathon. If you're 14 or older, you can run. No prize money is offered, making this more about the journey than the destination. Larry Kennedy ran to celebrate his birthday. Well, I'll never be able to do 70 again on the marathon. It just won't happen. So it's just like so totally awesome. Former Marine Jeremy Skiff wore pink for breast cancer awareness. He used to congratulate runners. Now he's the one racing. It's probably the best race you'll ever do if you try it because it's just so much support all the way around. I mean, it's like in every corner you go to, someone's always cheering you on no matter who it is. I heard more pink mohawks this time than I ever heard anybody cheer me on for. So it was great. The course includes disabled vets and more than 100 wheelchair and hand cyclists. Nothing tops like this one, not even close. And it's very awe-inspiring to kind of be around um, the Marines when they're kind of cheering you on. Many runners add this to their tally of marathons. Some say one and done. It was hard. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. Janine Gordon's 15-year-old daughter gave her the push a photo and quote in her shoe. My heart and my mind will carry my body when my limbs are too weak. I am a champion. Words to run by. She was telling me, Mom, you're a champion. So I believed her and I finished. <laughs> Now, organizers were concerned about the weather today because it actually did heat up along the course as the race went on throughout the day. But there were plenty of first aid crews who were able to help runners if anyone did overcome with some heat during that race today. Meanwhile, let's get to those winners of the race today. Now, the man who came in first today was Samuel Koskai from Kansas. Now, he finished in two hours, 22 minutes and 11 seconds. Not far behind him, though, Megan Curran the first female winner of the race from New Jersey crossed the line at two hours, 51 minutes and 46 seconds. But no matter your time, Candice, everyone definitely was a champion here in the nation's capital today. Absolutely, Caroline. I was one of those yelling pink Mohawk at Jeremy in Georgetown today when I saw him pass <laughs> by. We do want to send our congratulations to all of the runners, including some members of our Good Morning Washington team. This is a photo of Jumio Labanji, Altria Godfrey, Jackie Jarris at the Finish Line Festival. They completed the 10K, so no doubt the ladies will be completing the marathon next year. Let's hope. All right, so as